Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you what I'm going to go through to set up my Square account. I don't actually intend to use Square, but if I want to make any videos on Square, I figure I should have an account. I don't know when I set up the first 20% of this. It's got to have been years ago. But I started to go through the next steps and I'm like, oh, it's kind of weird and kind of funny. So I was like, I'll just make a video. And if anybody gets stuck or needs to know how to do it, they can kind of watch me do it and maybe not experience the same problems I have. So this video, like I said, it's just me setting up my Square account. I'm going to ask my editor to blur anything confidential. This could be helpful or it could be boring. We'll see when it gets done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click the arrow to the right. The setup guide, activate your account. One of four steps are completed. I'm like, ooh, overachiever. Let me go ahead and click on it. I need to link my bank account. This is the moment that I was like, I'm going to make a video. Um, I want to link my bank account. So it's bank accounts. There's a nice big button that says get square checking. And I'm like, I don't need another checking account. And I'm like, oh, external. Nothing happens when they click on it. And then automatic transfers take place. Automatic transfer down here. On the right hand side in a light gray text, it says link an account. So I click on that and I can add an external account. I'm like, okay, that's what I wanted. I don't want to, I don't want another account. I just want to link my account. So add external. So again, it's asking if I want a square checking account, which I think we both know that I don't link an external. Yes. Uh, continue uh, business account. Continue. I use this plaid. Uh, that's fine. My phone number. I'm going to say continue as guest. I don't really want to link uh, my phone number with plaid because I, I don't, I'll never remember if I use my phone number for business or for personal. So I'm like, no, 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 just not doing it. I'm going to link my Wells Fargo. So continue to log in. What I'm going to select or what I have to select is the profile information checkbox. I know that I have to select it because I tried to do this without selecting it and that didn't work. So I'm going to select that one, but not the other two. And then I'll choose continue. I agree. And I choose connect. Now I cross our fingers. This is the type of information that is going to be shared. That's fine. I'll click on allow. It says I've successfully linked it. Um, Again, I don't want my phone number linked with my bank account in Plaid. Maybe later I'll feel differently, but right now I don't like it. Um, okay, so it says it's linked. That's great. I really wanted to show like how to get it linked up um, and not to get accidentally using a new bank account. Okay, upper right hand corner, customize receipts. I don't actually intend to use this and I certainly don't intend to like send receipts, but let's do a couple of things. So we'll add some branding. Um, this is fine. Okay. So I can uh, frame to format, uh, color. I'm going to pick like a green. I can look up the hex code. Um, I have it somewhere. I don't really care. <laughs> so, um, this is framed format and there's an ad. Oh, I can put in my logo. Let me grab my logo real quick. Ooh, okay, this didn't work. I grabbed my logo and it, it seems like it's going to be like a green on green. What if I change this? Okay, I just made that a lighter color. Perfect. Um, select my locations. I only have one, so that's easy. Okay, so now when I look at it, this is what it will look like. Um, these are the levers I can turn on and off. I think this is all fine. Let's see what happens. Okay. Apparently I'm not done customizing. Um, let's edit details. Um, this let's go. Okay. 
gentlefrog.com uh, okay so let's see if that's enough information to get us so we can move past this um, can I just check the box that I've customized them <sighs> okay maybe I can oh I can close it okay set up your taxes um I don't have sales tax, so I'm just going to close out of this. So if I click the X, okay, and then add a location, it's got my location. This is just the UPS store. So if you want to stop in, they're amazing, but you're not going to find me there. Um, so that's done. Okay, set up payments. I feel like I would have set this up. All right, schedule my transfers. Um, automatic transfers, yes. Um, transfer speed, one to two days. I, I don't need or want to pay a fee to transfer money, so that's fine. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go to activate. Um, take your first payment. Uh, take your first payment. Okay, with a test transaction. Email and invoice. Oh, let's do this. Okay, let's create an invoice. Invoice number one. Um, okay, so customer. Okay, so I'm setting myself up as a customer using my personal email address. I am going to, I have no items. I'm going to click, okay, add a product preview. Done. Yeah, but how do I add a product test? Ooh, one time. Yes. And we'll make it one dollar. That didn't work. Let's try it again. Okay, so I'm gonna send myself an invoice for an item cold test for one dollar. I'm gonna allow myself all these different options on how to pay. I'm gonna send it via email. So I'm gonna say send. And it says it's been sent. Okay, so let me go back to my home page and just see is there anything else I need to do? I'm 70% set up. What, what am I missing? Okay, activate my account. Take your, oh, I see. Well, once I take my first payment. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'll go find the invoice um, and then I'll pick it up and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm logged into my personal email and this is what the invoice looks like. So terrific, it, it looks, um, it looks fine. Like I would probably care more if I actually intended to use the invoice, but I don't. So I'm going to click on pay invoice and then I can choose how I want to pay it. So let me just pay with credit or debit. Okay. So I've entered my payment. I just used a personal credit card. So that way it's easy for me to kind of keep track of it all. Um, so a dollar email, uh, receipt has been emailed to me. So let me go back and see what it looks like on the other side. Um, by that, I mean the business owner side of things. I'm back into my General Frog Square account. Um, for my sales, we can see that I've had $1 in sales. The $1 is paid through credit card. Um, it still says I'm 70% set up. So let's click on this and see what I need. Activate my account. Um, take my first payment. I've, I've done that. Um, so... Email and invoice. I'm not going to send another invoice. I just want it to like see or understand that I've sent an invoice. Let's go back to home. This is very frustrating. Um, okay. What if I say skip? Great. It went away. Um, and now the square point of sale. Um, I don't need to order hardware and I don't particularly need or want to download the app. That's it. I have finally managed to set up my account. Um, so um, I needed, wanted to set it up so that I can use this account for videos. But I also wanted to kind of walk through the pain of setting it up. Just in case you're also frustrated in having difficulty getting things to go away or getting the progress bar to go to 100%. I hope this video has been helpful. 
I do not plan to do a lot of deep dives into Square. Just every so often when people will post in the comments and say, oh, I'd, I'd love to see this thing about Square. And I'm like, eh, I'll get to it. Um, Square is not really my jam. I don't do a lot of work with Square. So my videos will be very sporadic. But if there's something that I know that can help you, I'm happy to make a video on it. Thanks and have a great day.